Matthew chapter 17. Six days later, Yeshua took Cephas, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. Yeshua underwent a supernatural metamorphosis, brackets, Greek, metamorpho, in front of them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothing became as white as light. Then Moses and Elijah just appeared and began talking with Yeshua. Then Cephas told Yeshua, We're honored to be here. If you want, I'll set up three booths, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when a bright cloud overshadowed them. Then a voice came from the cloud and said, This is my dearly loved son, who I am very pleased with. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground in terror. Yeshua came up to them and touched them and said, Get up, don't be afraid. When they looked up, they didn't see anyone except Yeshua by himself. On the way down the mountain, Yeshua instructed them, don't tell anyone about the ecstasy you have witnessed until the human son has arisen from the dead. So the disciples asked him, why do the Torah teachers say that Elijah must come first? Yeshua answered, Elijah is indeed coming, so that everything, brackets, prophetic, will be fulfilled. But I tell you that Elijah already came, and they didn't recognize him, but treated him any way they wanted to. In the same way, the human son is going to suffer at their hands. Then it dawned on the disciples that he had spoken to them about John the Immerser. When they returned to the crowd, a man came up to Yeshua and bowed down in front of him and said, Master, have mercy on me, because I have a son who is an epileptic and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. Yeshua answered, You unbelieving and antagonistic race. Brackets, Greek, Genea. How long must I be with you? How long must I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Yeshua rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was immediately healed. Then the disciples came to Yeshua privately and asked him, Why couldn't we heal him? Yeshua told him, Because you don't believe, but I can tell you with certainty that if you had in you the faith like the grain of a mustard, you could say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it would move, and nothing would be too difficult for you. But this kind of demon doesn't leave without prayer and fasting. When they returned to Galilee, Yeshua told them, The human son is going to be betrayed into the hands of men. They will kill him, but in three days he will be raised from the dead. This deeply saddened them. When they came to Capernaum, those who collect the silver coins came to Peter and asked him, Doesn't your teacher give us to Zeusim? He answered, Yes. And when Cephas entered the house, Yeshua, anticipating his arrival, and asked, What do you think, Simon? Do the kings of the earth collect sales tax and property tax from their sons or from strangers? Simon replied, From strangers. Then Yeshua said, Then the sons are exempt. But so that we don't offend them, go to the sea and throw in a fishing hook. Open the mouth of the first fish that comes up and you will find a silver stator. Take it and give it to them for me and you.